Hey, it's Jenny here. I just wanted to show you how to do the pirate kit that you might be getting. It's a little bit different because usually we saw the solid on the back and then the pattern on the front. But this time, because there wasn't enough pirate fabric, the pirate fabric is going to be on the back. So it's going to be the backing fabric. And then the solid red will be on the front. So when you get your kit, I don't have, there weren't any kits left yesterday. So I just have this fun fabric that I'm going to show you with. But so here, pretend this is my pirate fabric. Pretend this is my red fabric. And when you get the fabric, it might be, it might look like this. And what you're going to want to do is put right sides together. So put right sides together. Okay, put right sides together. And then you're going to get a couple of pieces of smart fab. So then you're going to sandwich the smart fab on either side on the wrong sides of your fabric. Okay, so then you can just clip those together. Okay. And with the solid fabric, which is nice, what's nice about this is that there's no uh, right and wrong side. You can do either side. Um, so I'm just going to keep these just as they are and clip them together. So now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew along the outside edge of both of them. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine. We have our back pieces and our front pieces. I'm just going to sew along the outside edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to just daisy chain these here. pieces sewn right sides together. If you have pinking shears, you can cut off kind of the excess that's over here. Uh, be careful not to cut your seams. Some people also just cut notches into the edges, but for the sake of this, I'm not going to do that. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to be sewing your front pieces to your back pieces. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up, because remember the solid is your front piece. You're gonna open up your front piece, and then you're going to put right sides together. So here's our pretend fabric, pirate fabric. Now what you can do is just finger press the seams out, so you get a nice smooth seam there. And then you're going to put your points together and put your seams on opposite sides and put a pin in it. Okay, and then what you could do before you do this part, you could sew over the edge of your pirate fabric and your fab um, Smart Fab over a quarter inch. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over when I start because it's just so that you have a clean edge. So I'm just going to fold it over, fold it with my finger. And again, you could you could do this separately to save time. This is just how I usually do it. And then you're going to just sew along the top edge. down when you get to your pin, kind of flatten it there, pull out your pin, sew around that top, get yourself readjusted here so you can make sure your curve follows the same curve. And then again, I'm going to just fold over this and hold it with my fingers. halfway done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to sew along the bottom. But before I do that, I want to make sure my seams are lined up again. So if you see at the top, 
my top seam of the Smart Fab is facing that way. So I just want to make sure that it's facing that way again when I put my seams together at the bottom here. So I'm just going to put my seams together, make sure my Smart Fab seam is pointing that way, and put a pin, pin right, and just put it right in between those seams. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. So down one side, and I'm gonna fold over this edge. Remember, you could you could have prepped this and fo folded it over and sewn it, but I'm just going to I'm going to take a shortcut here. Take your pin out. Kind of have to go up to that point the V, and then turn your needle, your presser foot, lift it up, turn your needle, and then I can go down the other side of the V. Okay, that's at the end, okay? So now it should look like this. So remember, I just sewed, I just folded over these edges and sewed along the top and the bottom, but you could have done that earlier too. So that's what it looks like so far. What you're going to do is take your scissors and cut off that excess off the top. Okay. And then you're going to turn it right side out. And what you might find, especially if your, your pieces don't line up, is that see how it didn't catch the back fabric along with the top fabric. So I'm gonna just sew along that area to make sure that I catch both sides. Okay. Okay, so I caught both sides there. So now I can turn it right side out. Now I know there's lots of ways of pressing these and I didn't really show that in the last video so I'm gonna just show you how I press them but feel free to do what's comfortable for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to poke out my seams as best as I can, get those seams out, okay? So you'll have your pirate fabric here and then you'll have your red fabric here. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over to the iron Okay, so here I am at my iron ironing board. Now remember, usually we see the color on the outside. This time we're gonna see the solid, so we wanna press it with the solid on the outside. So I'm gonna turn this with the solid down. I'm gonna pull out my creases here, the seams. I'm gonna make sure that edge of the Smart Fab is tucked under. I'm gonna poke my angle, my seams in. At an angle and press and then I'm just gonna press right up inside that nose there so just the nose of my iron is just going up right in the nose of the mask okay now I have my iron on wool setting so kind of a medium setting not too hot because I don't want to melt the smart fab okay so again on the other side I'm gonna pull my seams out to make them nice and straight. I'm gonna fold under that Smart Fab if it wasn't already sewn down. I'm going to turn my points in at an angle. And I'm just doing everything at the same time, but you can do this in one thing at a time too, okay? And then I'm just gonna put my point of my iron right up in that nose piece, in the nose area there, okay? So now it should look something like this. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my nose piece in. So this is my green wire. I cut it down to two inches. I have it curved about the same curve as the top of my nose piece, okay? So I'm gonna insert this in between the solid and the Smart Fab, okay? And I'm just gonna put it in until it gets to the top of the mask. 
And once it's in the top of the mask and kind of nested in that seam up there, see how it's kind of nested in there? I'm just gonna center it. Okay, that looks like about centered. And then I'm gonna put some clips. To hold it up there okay now I'm going to do my ties so you'll have two ties that we're going to do long ties this time um, we did them for the the pirate the other VHS masks as well but we're going to do it for the pirates too so you're going to put your tie down over on top of your pirate fabric you're going to fold that seam over, press it, and then you're going to create your binding by folding it over on top of your pirate fabric. And you can put a couple of clips there to hold your tie in. And you're going to flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. You're going to Press your end down, lay your tie on top of your pirate fabric, fold it over, creating your casing. Okay, so now it's all prepped and ready to do pretty much the last step, which is top stitch along the whole mask. So I'm gonna be top stitching all along the outside and being careful not to go over the ties. Okay, so now that we have our mask all pressed, all ready to go, now we're going to top stitch. So you may want to start at the top of your nose piece and go around that way. Uh, I usually just start at the bottom of one of the corners and go around because I like my last step to be easy along the flat edge, but how you top stitch it is really, from which angle you top stitch it is really up to you. So you back stitch, and then you're just gonna sew. All along your mask. Be careful, you can feel there when you get to your nose piece. And make sure you turn your Lift up your presser foot and turn it in. And then you're gonna just use your, follow your presser foot along the inside of your nose wire. And just as you go along, just push that nose wire up into that top of the mask really the hardest part about this whole thing. Okay, so now that you've got past the nose, now it's easy. straight edge. Okay, back stitch at the end. Cut your tie, cut your, your thread. And there you have it. That will be your, this is what the pirate mask will look like, except you will have red on the outside and you'll have pirate on the back. So now it can be reversible. So they could see the pirate on the inside here. We'll have the red on the, the side, or if they just want it to be plain, they'll just see like that. So now I'm gonna just show you how to do the ties. So they've requested that we leave the ties long. So we'll have a continuous tie that will run through the whole mask. That way it can be just adjusted in the back and the front. And sometimes it's kind of hard to put the beads in the ties. So 
use whatever you whatever works for you amy made these really cool little tools for pushing the ties through you could use um tweezers whatever you whatever you can find so you're just going to be pushing only thing you have to remember is just push your ties through the bead in the same direction so here we go so here's the top of my mask i'm going to push it through Okay, and then you're going to push it second one through the same direction. Okay, pull it through. Tie a knot. You can tie a double knot. Just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay. So there's half of our ties. Now the, for the bottom, you could do two things. You could put a bead through the bottom, but because this is gonna be one continuous tie and you can just tighten it from the top, you can also, if you're having a hard time, you could also just tie a square knot at the bottom. So right over left, left, under, And there's my square knot. So that's not going to come out now. So that's just doing the same thing as if you had a bead at the bottom. And then you're going to just trim off any extra like that. And then the way you wear this mask is you put it both ties over your head, put it situated on your face. I like to get my nose piece adjusted and then just pull. And then I like to leave these long, but then what people can do is they can cut these down to the length that they need so that they don't have so much extra. So for me, it's like this. What I'm going to do is kind of lift it up so it would be enough for me to take off so then I can wear it around my neck if I need to. And then I know that all of this extra up here I really don't need. So I'm just going to tie my knot a little bit lower. But that's something, um, if you get one of these masks, that's something you can do to make it fit a little bit better and, and not quite have so much extra. But you don't need to do that while you're making it. So there you go. So that's going to be your finished mask. So you'll have the solid red on the front of your mask. And then you'll have your pirate fabric on the mask. So on the back of your mask. So hopefully that helps because I know it's just a little bit different way of of doing things because we're used to having the solid on the back of our mask, but we're switching things up. So there you go.